Hello everyone and welcome to Twerton Park for highlights of this run around the National League South Clash between Bar City and Concord Rangers. The Romans have lost their rhythm recently with four straight defeats and will hope to be on song again against the Beach Boys. Concord still have a slim chance of survival following Thursday's win over Hungerford. They set off for the long journey west some 35 hours after that contest ended and still have six matches after today to squeeze into 12 days. The likelihood is they'll need to win at least half a dozen from seven to prolong their 10 year stay at this level. With eight points between them and the final playoff spot, it looks like City are playing for pride with an aim of finishing the season on a high note after a recent stumble. A win today could take them back into the top half with three league games remaining. This match falls within Amnesty International's Football Welcomes campaign, where Bath City are one of many football clubs across the country welcoming refugees and people seeking asylum. Rex Mannings is back in the fold after a spell out on loan at Yate. Joe Raines, who was with the Bristol side briefly last season, misses out after picking up a knock on Monday. Chris Lyne starts in place of Luke Spokes. Jack Batten makes his 250th appearance and 200th league start. City only have three substitutes to call upon. Concord have made five changes from Thursday night's win over Hungerford. One notable omission is Lewis Manor. He's on the bench having scored two and two. Top scorer Mo Bettimer is back in. Commentary comes from Andrew Kerslake and Alex Lane Kjautka. But we're about to get underway here at Twerton Park. It's about City versus Concord Rangers. Concord Rangers hoping to beat the drop this season. They're currently bottom of the table, hoping to get back-to-back -back wins. And we are underway now with Chris Lyons sending out wide to Dan Hayfield. And then all the way back to Morton, now to Lyons. Patiently gives it back to Jack Batten. Nice patient player already from City in the opening 10 seconds. Tom Smith just holding his own here. Be good to see Tom Smith find some more form again in the later stages of the season. Lovely infield ball in towards the box. Now back out to Popo. To Kai on the edge of the box. Look to want to get onto his right foot. He does so, takes a shot, but it's low. And it goes straight at Max Harris. And then Scott Wilson chasing down Beanie, but it's cleared down to Betterman. Well, the other virtue is he's going to be match fit, isn't he? Because he's played a lot of games for Yeh. Now Kai on the left-hand side. Does really well to find the byline. Sends a deep cross in towards Monville. Takes a shot. And I think Max Harris did get his left hand to the ball, low. A Smith out wide to the left of Freer. Once again, it's behind him, unfortunately, but Smith did have to just find the right space. Freer gets it onto his left foot, onto Wilson. He does get his foot onto it. Smith now on the overlap, saves his shot. Oh, it's a great save from Beanie. It took a deflection off of Popo. The left foot is shot from Tom Smith, and then Beanie has to watch it all the way to just move it around over his bar. Good header that time by Bettema. Oh, it's a lovely layer from Kai over to Munns. Now to Bettema, right-hand side of the box. He could send a cross in. It's a low cross, Max Harris is there, and doesn't cause any danger for City. And Max Harris gets on with it quickly, throws it out to right-hand side for Hayfield now. Nice end-to-end -end action. We have seen this for a little while, and that was a, a, <laughs> a very late challenge that time from T Jack Thomas. And it will be a booking for the Concord Rangers man for sure for that situation. Hayfield had the better of him on that situation. He's in a really good position. Concord players on the far side of the box. He just put it tamely across. Easy for Harris to collect. Oh, Chris Lines, that's a very clever free kick in towards Wilson. Tries to get back onto his left foot. It's a shot there from Morton with the right foot. Referee calls for a goal kick. It was actually Hayfield with the shot. And he's calling for a corner. He felt like it deflected wide off a Concord player, but the referee says no, goal kick, but very clever set piece there from City. It is his 250th appearance and his 200th league start for Jack Batten. In all the plaudits recently for some fantastic performances at the back. And Scott Wilson does really well, stays strong, and is brought down that time by Beckett, but Wilson's not complaining too much about the situation. The referee says no, it definitely looked more like a coming together than anything with Wilson just being a bit more powerful on that yeah, occasion. I, I, Monville will set up another one of his long throws. You expect Parcel to The voice you can hear this. is more absolutely bellowing down the pitch. When it could fall to Munns, now on the edge of a box. I'm surprised he didn't just unleash a shot. I don't think he was able to line one up though. Now it's back with Monville, right hand side. Only Greenslade to beat. Oh, he does bring it back onto his left foot. Takes a shot, goes just wide, hits the side netting. Harris was down low, but certainly a dangerous looking effort for Concord Rangers. Batten on the right hand side now, sends it forward. A lovely ball from Morton, just outside of the, le of the left foot. So it gives it to Wilson. Look at him, Ivan Hamble there. 
Linesman saying yes, and now the referee has called for a free kick. So really good position for City to send the ball into the box. And it's about to be taken now by Chris Lines up towards the penalty spot. It did fall to Mannings, but the referee says foul. Morton's just <laughs> very much got a lot of space on the edge of the box. So if they vote just to be a bit tricky there. Up towards Batten, who does try and get his foot onto it. Mannings lays it off. Now with Mannings in the box. Lots of blue shirts around him. Greenside lays it off for Freer, sends a cross in. And it looked like quite a late challenge there as well from Thomas. Got to be careful there, Jack Thomas. Lunging in on a yellow card inside the box. Luckily, yeah. the referee wasn't looking. Thomas coming in on him, I think, also encouraged Freer to kick the ball too quickly and hence too hard. That's Hayford with the ball. I haven't seen anything like that since years ago. I saw a centre forward for Bristol Manor Farm come off and light up a fag. Some fantastic ball and layoff from Morton that time. Now with Mannings on right hand side. Brings in, whips in a left footed cross. It's cleared away. Now with lines. Oh, Fred's a ball forward to Hayford onto the byline. There is going to be a corner after it comes off Beckett last. And Freer with him he wants to take it short. Go towards the penalty spot. It's a high one up to Parcel. Good fall to Hayford with the shot on the volley. Charged down by many blue shirts. Now we're free who will take a shot. It's deflected over and Beanie will be able to collect back calmly. But there we go. A few shots for City that time. Two shots on target in quick succession. But Morton back to the lines. It's all City at the moment. Lovely ball out wide to Greenside. A few players have slipped over today for both teams. Oh, it's a lovely ball over the top into the box for Manning. His first touch lets him down. Great cross across the face of goal. Now Hayfield into Wilson. 1 0 to City in the 40th minute. A fantastic word goal there from Rex Mannings over to Hayfield who drills a low cross in towards Scott Wilson and he puts it through, it looked like through the legs of Mitch Beanie that time at the near post and it is 1-0 to the Romans. Yep, after 40 minutes you have to say that was a textbook move from City. Really nice move with three players that have been pressing all this afternoon playing a part in it. Manning's great ball out to Hayfield and uh, Hayfield, I thought he was going to shoot for a moment there instead elected to put it to Wilson and Wilson made absolutely no mistake, got real power behind it and the not so teeny beanie could do absolutely <laughs> nothing about it. it. Certainly felt like a fever dream out one, just a well worked team goal as two players go lunging in, I think it was Chris Lines and Munns and that lovely ball from Morton, just a cross field ball over towards where Freer is, Popo's able to collect. And he loosely gives it away to Tom Smith. He tries to clear it down, didn't look up. Now it's a green side. Good opportunity for City to double their advantage now. Chris Lines will just line up a shot, and that is why Chris Lines has not scored for City as of yet, because he had plenty of space ahead of him, but it goes way over and way wide. Much prefer seeing Wilson in the box, and here's Chris Lines again. Once again, lots of space ahead of Chris Lines. Out wide to Freer. Plenty of time to send a cross in. In towards Wilson, and it's an own goal! It actually comes off Beckett. Somehow, in the 44th minute, Harvey Beckett, who's had a fantastic game so far, it evades Wilson, who tries to flick on a header, and ends up with Beckett, who tried to clear it away for a corner, and his right foot latches on, and it makes it 2-0 for Bath City. I feel sorry for Beckett there, because Wilson went to take that ball. It was just in front of him, couldn't get his foot to it. And uh, Beckett, well, it's almost one of those instinctive moments. I'm sure he was trying to turn it right in the post but actually, um, well, put the ball exactly where Wilson had been intending to. Cracking cross as well from Elliot Freer, just one of those ones that goes towards the goal. He has to be careful of Wilson now. Oh, it's poor from Popo. He lets it fall to Freer, now inside the box. Let's be careful there, Popo. He's all over Freer. He had, had the winger have gone down. The referee may have called for a penalty there. He gets it onto his left foot, and it may just go out for a goal kick. Instead, it finds Wilson, who can't quite divert his overhead cross. Cross for the goal. And it wouldn't say go for a goal kick. And there goes for halftime whistle. And thanks to Scott Wilson and, of course, an own goal from Harvey Beckett is here at Twerton Park. Bath City 2, Concord Rangers at nil. Now Hayfield will try and get out wide to Munns, who sends a lovely looking cross. And it does fall to Beckett that time. Now with Kai, right hand side of the box, turns back onto his left foot, takes a lovely shot, bounces just wide of the goal. And even though Max Harris wasn't diving, it definitely looked a lot closer than it seemed, but it is still 1-0 to Bath City. Chris Lines down, centre of the park. 
finds Morton in lots of space, brings it down well with a left foot, out wide to right side for Hayfield, and a low cross in, this could be another own goal, it did come off for Captain Pollock that time. That's with Hayfield on the right hand side, has to take on Hudson, goes to Smith. Into the box with Mannings, who's trying to line up a shot perhaps, but Pollock's able to intercept and bring the ball away over to Betima. Back to Pollock with a left foot, puts it forward now inside the bath half with Kai. As he was falling to the ground, sends a through ball on towards Betima. But brilliant challenge from Jack Batten to keep the ball away from the oncoming striker. Yeah, Batten had to get that absolutely right, just sliding across Betima, deflecting the ball back towards Harris. I mentioned Tom Smith a minute ago. Yeah, I think he has had a better game this afternoon. He has been buzzing around behind those front two. Looks more comfortable. Brilliant ball forward from Batten in towards Wilson. Right side near the byline. Takes it away from the defender. He may have latch on to it after it goes underneath. Beanie it should be three. It is three nil. Somehow finds the back of the net in the 51st minute. He gets past Joe Burton on the spin. And he takes an initial shot, which Mitch Beanie gets down low. Goes through his legs. And then Scott Wilson has to sort of edge himself around the, the last defender on the line and with the left foot gets his second of the game and that is now 19 on the season for Scott Wilson. Yep, and also his 14th league goal, which makes him City's leading goal scorer. But you, you get a feeling that was one that you thought was never going to go in. <laughs> it seemed to do everything. Off the keeper, back to him, deflected, and then eventually just squeezing it round past the defender and into the back of the net for... Scott Wilson's second of the afternoon, and with that making it City's third goal, you get the feeling that Concord have a little mountain to climb here. As it comes back, it actually scored the second goal of the afternoon. He actually takes a shot himself. It's a good drilled low shot, but Max Harris gets down low infield to Hayfield, who's actually playing a bit more central. Manning's just taking over that right wing spot as it stands. And now with Frigg, try and get a cross in. There's a really good looking cross in towards Manning's. Good head away from the Captain Pollock. Now with Hayfield, brings it back onto his left foot. That's for Chris Lyons, take a shot. Deflected that time by Pollock. Good triangle passing, just Jerry Gill will be incredibly happy with what he's seen today, I imagine. Brilliant illustration there of how good Parcel is because he recognised. He also sent a lovely ball into Hayfield. First time cross in towards Tom Smith. Now with Chris Lines. We mentioned Tom Smith earlier. I think the other good thing about his performance this afternoon is he's he's really been buzzing around, hasn't he? Keen to come back and get the ball. Lovely ball from Hayfield to Morty. He might just line up a shot. In front to Wilson. Inside box. On his own. Takes a shot, but he got his touch completely wrong and it took him way too wide. And then he had to sort of put his head down and twist his whole body as he took the shot and he goes over the bar. Such a great opportunity to find the hat trick. Now Morton does well, just switch on to his left foot, may just take a shot. Instead gives it off for Mannings, his first touch lets him down. Going towards the byline, now back to Hayfield, who send a cross in. Over top to Wilson, almost hits him on the head, but it finds Beckett instead, who clears it away. Now Chris Lines takes the first touch, to try and unleash a shot here. Everyone's begging for him to shoot from the crowd. Now to the left for Freer. You definitely sense a fourth goal coming. Freer into the box, Beckett heads away, and it will be a corner for City. And this is just lovely to watch from a City perspective as Elliot Freer will take this corner. In towards Parcel, who does win the header. Good save from Beanie, though. Just gets palm. It was just above his head, which is quite surprising, considering how tall he is, Mitch Beanie. News Hernandez, he does so on the left-hand side. It's actually Pollock, tries to send a cross in. Goes to Wilson now, it's a good opportunity for City to break in transition. Tom Smith is on the overlapping run. Also Freer to the right-hand side. It's now with Freer, inside box. He's offside, apparently. It didn't look offside from my angle. But apparently it is offside and Freer's shot was saved anyhow. So it will be staying at 3-0 and it will be a free kick for Concord Rangers. And I know we're not quite in line with the linesman, but it didn't look offside from no, my position. No, I share your doubts there, Alex. And Ben Ford will be coming on now as well. Local lad gets a very good round of applause as he comes on. James Morton off. And James Morton will make his way in. And James Morton had done exactly what I wanted him to do today, show that technical prowess, don't worry about being box to box, just collect the ball and send the ball. As Chris Lines has just sent a lovely ball out wide to Ben Ford. Good first touch from Ford as well. He could drive into Richard uh, Box because I, I'm not quite sure if he was actually trying to cross that then. It looked more like a shot, way wide on the right hand side of the box and unfortunately it goes out for a goal kick. Now it's with Dan Greenslade. It's just Munns looked to be dwarfed by the corner flag when he was standing next to it. Doesn't have to be kept slipping over as well. And now it's with Scott Wilson, potentially. Does just latch on to that long ball from Smith. On the byline, lovely ball back to Freer. 
Really, Scott Wilson in the box. He wants to find his hat trick today. It's a little ball to Hayfield, and it's a goal. It's a great header from Dan Hayfield in the 76th minute. A brilliant cross from Elio Freer. It's a lofted cross over just about 10 yards out, and it finds the head of Hayfield, who puts it into the top right-hand corner. And Beanie had no chance of getting onto that one. It is now Bastardy for Concord Rangers nil. And I said Hayfield may feel like getting a goal today. Obviously, they now need to defend well for the remaining 15 minutes or so. Munns sends the ball in. Max House will come and clever. Slips for his hands. May fall to Beckett. And now it falls all the way to Day. Sent a shot. Now to Hernandez for two players who've been brought on as substitutions. And Nandes gets his touch completely wrong, though. Now, good opportunity for Freer. Oh, he tries to bring it infield to Hayfield. He would have been on his own on the ball. And Hayfield just does brilliantly there. Puts about four slide challenges in on the ground and pushes it forward to Freer now. Left hand side, can send the ball in. Scott Wilson cleared away that time by Burton, though. Now, Smith to Freer on the left hand side. Still 4 0. Tries to send another drilled low cross, but instead wins a corner after it comes off Popo. <laughs> Good round of applause from the grandstand, as I can see in front of me. Good amount of people in the seats. And here comes Luke Spokes. 10 to 15 minutes. It's Elliot Freer, the outswinging corner, in towards Parcel, who does win the header once again. He doesn't miss many of them, but it hits the ground first and falls into the hands of Beanie that time. And Elliot Freer, who I think has been slightly off the pace in the last couple of weeks, similar to how Tom Smith has been, has had a much improved game. And Hayfield threads a ball forward to Rex Mannings, who can unleash a shot with the left foot, but it goes way high and way wide. He did have Scott Wilson on the overlap, but as a striker, you want to be finding the back of the net. So don't blame him for taking a shot there with all that space ahead of him. Now, uh, Chris Lyons, lovely ball to Hayfield. Has been forward ahead of him. Lovely ball in through to Wilson on the byline. Can try and grab himself an assist, almost deflects off a of Burton in towards the back of the net. Instead, hits for side netting, and it will be a corner for City instead. Will be freer to take this one now. Spokes coming short and they are going to take it short. He can send a cross in if he wants to. Luke Spokes in towards. Now it's with Wilson at the back post. Tries to take a shot. Burton clears that time. Now it's with Lyons on right hand side. Comes to infield. Lays it off for Manning. Now it's with Chris Lyons who could take a shot at goal. It's well defended by Harrison Day who slides in at the pivotal moment. And Concord Rangers certainly not look like scoring at all as Chris Lyons sends it in towards the back post. It may fall to Spokes, it does win the header. And there goes the full-time whistle. And it does end here at Twerston Park. A Bath City for Concord Rangers nil. Two goals for Super Scotty Wilson. Dan Hayfield with his own goal as well. And then an own goal for Harvey Beckett. And uh, what a performance from Bath City that was, Andrew. Yeah, it would be easy to talk about it being comfortable. It's been more than that because uh, City, well, Jerry Gill, before this game, talked about taking the shackles off his side, and they've certainly demonstrated that as they pressed forward this afternoon with an urgency. It didn't always come off for the, the opening spell of this game for the first half an hour, but they pressed down the pitch, and eventually, once they got that first breakthrough, then really you felt there was nothing stopping them. They went in 2-0 up at half-time, well, they added to that with a further two goals in the second period. And you look back on this match as, as really a, a comfortable game, but it's also one that really gets City back on track. You, you feel really in the last couple of games against Taunton and against Weymouth, you commentated on this, Alex, that they'd really just run out of energy, run out of invention, run out of ideas, and you, you just felt there wasn't a way forward. This afternoon, they rediscovered their mojo. Well, thank you very much for being with myself, Andrew Kerslake and Alex Lane for Tika this afternoon. A 4-0 scoreline. It was Concord that were grounded today as City took flight.